So earlier this year, I had the opportunity to work for the composer from Kentucky. And ever since then, he's done a really good job at keeping in touch with me and the other musicians who helped out with him. Recently, he reached out to me asking questions about bass. So I figured the best way to answer that would be through a video like this to show things. He says, hey, Kenton, I have a gear question for you. I know you mentioned that your darker bass, this one here, your darker bass is your original one and is like a jazz bass. Is the lighter blue one, this one here, the lighter blue one that you play most of the time, is it like a P bass? What brand are those basses? Just curious. Rodney, his wife. Rodney has a Fender jazz bass and we hope to get a 50s or 60s style P bass sometime. So, so this video will be going over the different styles of pickups and basses. This bass that he mentioned asking about a P bass is not a P bass. It's a humbucker pickup bass. Humbucker pickups most of the time need 9 volt batteries, but they're not much of a problem in that regard. With the battery comes some things like a lot of compression and EQ settings. They also put out a lot of low end support. So humbucker bass is a very fat, thick sound that is really good for just sitting at the bottom of the mix and just really supporting stuff. Really great for contemporary styles like contemporary worship style. It can be difficult to play some intricate lines as it can get in the way in the mix. Playing simple whole notes in the low register are great for holding up the mix. And it sounds great in the context of a song, but can be easy to overplay in a, with a humbucker bass. In the context of a song, that would just take up too much space. My darker bass, this one here, is a jazz bass. It has two single coil pickups, which are the typical configuration for a jazz bass. Passive, so no battery needed. It has a much brighter tone to it. You can hear those middle notes really kind of pop out. This it's easier to play more because you're not overplaying as much, however it lacks that low end support that the humbucker does. This is great for jazz styles, hence the name, also classic rock like 80s journey and stuff like that. The clarity of the high register really makes it sweet for playing more intricate lines. However, by switching from the neck pickup to the bridge pickup, you can get a little bit darker of tones. Again, because they're not active pickups with batteries, you are limited in your EQ and there's no compression on it. My third bass here is a P bass. It has this Z-shaped configuration on the pickups. It is also passive, so no battery needed. So also no compression and limited EQ settings. That being said, it also doesn't have the low end support of the humbucker. But it still does punch pretty clearly because the natural EQ of the P bass, it does have a lot of low end to it. But it also has decent amount of high end, so it kind of scoops the mids. What is great about the P bass is the punchiness of its tone. It's very articulate with it. This makes it great for playing fancy rhythms. It has decent clarity on the high end, while still also having quite a bit of depth to it. But the lack of compression is not going to give it that support that the humbucker bass has. Again, stylistically, the humbucker bass is great for low end support and in contemporary styles. A lot of loudspeaker system PA stuff is great for that kind of stuff because of its low end support. So most contemporary styles can really benefit from having the humbucker bass. In full mix context, you can check out my cover of Jeremy Cam's The Way. In that cover, I use this bass for the contemporary style, and it sounds pretty good in that. That's one of my best mixes. 
Again, the jazz bass has brighter tones and less low in support, but really shines in the middle register. Again, great for playing classic 80s rock and jazz styles, as well as probably some other styles in, the, in there. For a full mix, you can check out my cover of Keith Urban's Faster Cars, where I used this bass for that one. And then the P bass has a nice balance between the EQ curve and the nice punchy tone to it. Great for rhythm. It's great for R&B styles, probably country, bluegrass type as well. It kind of is very versatile and in the mix you can do practically anything with it. So it's a great versatile instrument. I use this one for the cover of a song called Bechalamat Shali uh, by an Israeli artist called Pierre Tessie. And the reason why I use that one is because of the softer, floatier sound of it and the punchiness really just kind of fit with that mix. It's also great for R&B styles and gospel and probably even country and stuff like that. It's kind of a versatile instrument and can fit in almost any genre because it can mix in almost any way that you want it to. Alright, so in wrapping this up, the quality of these instruments, they're all middle to low tier. My humbucker bass is my most expensive bass. It is a cork Kerr bass. I don't know much about the brand, but this is no longer on the market. Uh, brand new, it was $600, but I bought it from a friend for $300, and it required a little bit of work on it, though. My jazz bass, I brought brand new at $250. It is a Fender Squire, and it is also no longer being sold. In fact, this is actually one of the last ones that they made. But of course, Fender is a great, reliable brand. Squire is their cheaper instruments, so to be affordable for all musicians. Very reliable. I've had this thing for about 14 years and it still holds up pretty well. Then my P bass has a little bit of a story to it. It was actually my uncle's bass and the first bass I played before giving it back to him when I bought my own first bass. This is extremely cheap and not a good brand, uh, Rogue. This bass, brand new, is valued at about less than $100. Um, and I got this for free after my uncle passed away. So it's Definitely bottom of the line tier, but it actually holds up pretty well. The wood is extremely cheap. The tape here is the only thing holding the pickup on because the screws stripped out the wood itself. But the pickups do pretty good and the neck actually does pretty good as well. So it's actually quite surprisingly well. So in the situation of this message, I'll definitely suggest go ahead and go with the P-Bass. It is such a versatile instrument and knowing your style, it can definitely fit well in that. Anyway, good luck, man. It's always good being in touch with you. Take care.